immortals and happy Halloween. Go fuck yourself. That that's that was unnecessary. I don't know why I did that. Happy Halloween. Assuming I'm able to edit this and put this up on Halloween like I'm planning. Happy Halloween, even if I've missed it, because sod it, who cares? We're playing the Consuming Shadow because it's the closest thing to a horror game I can play that I can make a video of. Okay, let me try and put that in context. I have other horror games, but all the other horror games have a bit of a slow boil, and I'm not looking to make a series. I kind of want something one-off. This is the best game I can make, I can record, that'll work in a one-off situation. So, uh, Wizards, Warrior, Scarlet, I don't know. Um, okay. I have played this before on the channel. You can find that here, if I remember to put the information card on. Okay, hopefully that popped up and started off again. So, you can go watch that after this one. Um, and if you like this one and you like that one, why not subscribe? Because I should probably tell people to do that more. I, I'm not even reading these, I'm just looking through. So, this is a game by Yahtzee Sebastian Godzilla Croshaw. It's a good game, you should play it if you haven't already. Um, these are the characters. Okay, those just uh, go through. So, the Scholar is your basic, your wizard is good with magic, um, but can't do much other than magic, and you can get completely buggered if you lose the ability to renew your runes. Warrior is a punchy kicky guy, but doesn't have a gun. I'm not entirely sure what the wanted by the police aspect has to do with things on that one, but we'll find out. And the Ministry Man basically knows what he's doing, has more money, but has less time. So I'm going to go with... let's just go with the default. Let's have a Scholar. Why the hell not? Terrifying visions of the ancients swim through my mind, combined with visions of Stonehenge. I estimate three days before the barrier breaks down and one of them invades. For some reason, I cannot shake a sensation of deja vu. I have memories of assembling a ritual, fleeing through darkened hallways, and firing a gun at something unimaginable. I feel like some distant part of me may have died this way, hundreds of times, perhaps thousands. Neat! Where's the... oh. There we go. Let's begin the journey. I keep forgetting how many times you've got to uh, move along some of these options. Okay. Health. Health, please. That health is good. How do I get the, mo oh, the most, most health? Four. So 25. Yeah, yeah. I do like magic. What else we got? What have we got to choose from? I've got health. I've got magic. And I've got oh, sanity and lock. Oh, sanity and lock picked. Oh, look. I can get all of them. Let's, let's get a bit of everything. Yeah. That was not a complete waste. Uh, can I get magic? Let's put one of the magic. I can't get. Can I get higher than three? I, think I could get higher than three. I'm putting it dead center, but it seems to be a. Any more than three? Whatever, three percent. Let's up my sanity because sanity is always fun. Is the thief sanity? That doesn't seem right. The lion sanity, surely. There we are. I was confusing myself for a moment. Okay, where's the middle? Twenty-five extra sanity. And sure, let's stick one in the middle of the thief. Why the hell not? There we go. Was that a good selection? God only knows. Cursed towns are the best place to find what you're looking for. If you want my advice, start from Castle Hope and work it out from there. Okay. Where the buggering hell is Castle Hope from where I am? Oh, not far away. Neat. Let's do this. I have not played this game in a very long time, so I can remember none of the buttons. This is going to be fun. In we go. Castle Hope. The shadow cast. I put my. Uh, this is supposed to be the scholar speak. The shadow cast upon this town hits me like a foul stench the moment I leave the car. There are people wandering the streets, bent almost double, as if an invisible weight clings to their backs. I saw a terrace of houses, all with doors smashed in and curtains closed, soaked with splattered blood. Something far worse than a mere generalized taint has caused this. This is all coming from a source. A loose, poorly handled magical artifact left to leak its foul energies into everything around it. Let's go back to the car, solve this. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's go find out what's happening. This vileness is almost visibly radiating from a building in a dilapidated part of town. It seems to have undergone a fire, which may very well have been caused by the misuse of the object I seek. 
It must be recovered. I am willing to take the risk. And I need to do it before I start paying too much attention to the screams and banging being made at the back of my mind by my sense of self-preservation. Investigate further. Double check the controls. Which is the button to shoot left? Oh, X. X is shoot. Okay. So, B thought. Okay. I just wanted. To, I didn't want to. I want to check the buttons without wasting one of my bullets because I don't have many bullets. So I need to find a thing and punch a thing. Oh yeah, I've got a run button. I think I remember that. Hey, a thing. Nope, 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 nope. Ow! Naughty, 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 naughty. Hey, a thing. Ooh, I found some monies. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. I'm just gonna try it once. Why not? Hey, a rune. What do you say? The Shum rune has been inscribed on the wall here in orange. Could be either marking a territory or a gesture of thanks or recognition to another god. So, in other words, orange and Shum both have some relation to either the god that's trying to invade or that god's friend. Okay, so orange and Shum have nothing to do with the god that isn't invading. Uh, yeah, sure, let's cast it. Why the hell not? Wave of energy. That didn't do anything. Hey, a thing. Okay. Stop. Stop being a thing. Hey, free bullets. Yeah. Yoki. I already tried that one. <laughs> okay. Two locked doors. Let's, uh, actually, let's try this door. Why the hell not? Oh, it works. Nice. What have we here? A thing. In the case of a four rune incantation, the first rune denotes the recipient of the spell. Okay, so that could in theory be Shum, for example. But I don't know the rest of the banishment. Unless there's any more loot to be found, I can safely call this operation complete. Time to go. You're not going to suddenly change it to run, are you? Run. Oh! I can't... I have to run past it. It was in the sodding way. Cheap game. Uh, sorry, I'm going to keep exploring. Why the hell not? Ah, I've got a... Oh, so I'll just take the hit. Oh, some more money. Let's go down. Keyring. Keyring. Hey! Go up the way. Oh, great. Now I've got anxiety. Thanks, Yahtzee. Giving us your sodding mental problems. When written together, the syllables ang kuz seem to take on the meaning of to open what is tightly shut. Oh, cool. I got the lockpicking spell. Neat. Down. Right. Down. Right. Freedom. Hey, what are you clinging to? There is nothing there. What? Seriously, you were... That was the sky. You were clinging to the sky. Yes, please, I would like to go back to the car now. I am not good at this game, as you may have noticed. And I would rather not be murdered to death quite so soon. The town is lost to the shadow. Nothing I could have done can change that. But perhaps, with what I have recovered here, this will finally be the last. Right, I was trying to figure out what he was talking about. He means it's the last town, perhaps, lost to the shadow. That, no. We're going to lose many towns to the shadow. Right, let's, uh... Let's heal. Because I took a lot of damage there, because I am a dumb dumb. And let's go to Finsby. Start driving. Hey, a text from the Ministry of Occultism. I've got sightings of enemy minions in Burrow that need exterminating. You don't have to help out, but these things escalate quickly. Okay, well, we'll see where Burrow is and see if it's worth going to. Currently, I'm in Finsby. Finsby looks like a friendly town. 
In we go. The town is calm and peaceful. Hooray! Oblivious of the shadow. My heart feels pained and heavy as I am confronted by what we stand to lose if I fail in my mission. Well, how much money do I got? 21. What supplies we got? So, prevents anxiety. Well, I have anxiety, so let's get that. Oh, uh, yeah. So now I... Oh, hang on, I put it... What? What? Why did you, you put it away? What is it to... Okay, we'll do that later. So, we've got nine monies. Get as many bullets as I can. Oh, a text from the Ministry of Occultism. Strange events have been reported in Castle Hope. Can't say any more. Wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Was I in Castle Hope? Let's... No, equip the damn thing. Jesus. Okay. So I don't have anxiety anymore, I assume. So I can go back to Castle Hope and something will happen there. Or I can go to Burrow and shoot things and get perhaps some money. Alright. No, hang on. Castle Hope was the first place I went to, isn't it? You can't tell me to go back there. We must press on ever forward into the abyss and death. Oh, a small country church. I've happened upon a small country church where a number of locals have taken shelter. And the indistinct words drifting out from the entrance doors sounds like some kind of sermon is taking place. I'm finding the prospect of peaceful human contract, contact extremely enticing. Kill my, uh, not kill myself, but I don't want to kill myself. Go listen and get down the road. You know what? I'm a listen as soon as he stops trying to kill himself. These people have no understanding of what is happening to the world outside, but they are determined to defy it. I felt inspired by the strength in the vicar's words. The families gathered to listen. It was with a heavy heart that I forced myself to return to the car after an hour, but what faith I have in this quest has been somewhat renewed. Hooray! Now I'm slightly less likely to try and kill myself. Okay, let's go kill some monsters. As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of the shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. The people are making a valiant effort to fight them off, but the struggle could go either way. I prepare to lend my effort to the resistance. Go. Go away. Go away. Ah, oh, yeah. I've recovered some dusty jewellery I estimate to be worth about two pounds. The hell kind of... <laughs> okay. Pro tip to people out in the real world. If you find jewellery worth two pounds, it is not worth your time picking it up. Nobody <laughs> is going to bother with dusty old jewellery for two pounds where they can go to literally any shop on the high street and get a two pound bit of jewellery. That isn't randomly fallen out of a monster's ass. You know, Poundland or Pound World will have jewellery for about that kind of money. Charity shops, you have to find some there. You could get some jewellery worth about two pounds from a decent quality Christmas cracker. You don't need it falling out of monster's ass. Thankfully, my small contribution has been enough to turn the tide, and I am able to give advice on future defence. The local authorities are grateful, and when I, non too discreetly, mention the posted reward, seem happy to pay it properly. Neat! Oh, I have 17 monies now. I feel quite buoyed by the clean air here, and the people are friendly enough. It can only be a matter of time before they catch the shadow's attention. Well, that a, puts a downer on things, haven't it? What do you mean, catch the shadow? We just fought the monsters, the shadow knows they're here, mate. They're still they're screwed either way. Okay. Let's see. Uh, more supplies or visit hospital? Let's get more supplies. After an hour, I found stuff. Cool. What do we got? Lucky charm. Done. Done and double done. Okay. Let's see, I've got nine monies. Let's get the cheapest ammo I can, as much of it as I can. Back to the car. Jesus, give me a break, Ministry of Occultism. Let, let me do something. I just... Oh, God. Sorry, I've got myself hiccups. Narcotics can numb your mind from the horrors around you and keep you sane, but the effect will lessen as you build up a tolerance. Okay, that's referring to the illegal drugs I've got in me 
What is that? Why is everything dark all of a sudden? Oh, the time's changed. Okay. <laughs> That's my brain going, why, why is everything dark? Because it's night time, dummy. Yes, so I have illegal drugs hidden in the... Uh, up there from the sun visor. If I stab myself with that, sanity will come back for a bit, but it'll also wear down over time, and the more drugs I stab into my eyeballs, the less effective they become. But I don't need any, because I'm quite sane at the moment. Moving on. Hmm. Waterton, Twin Hill, Soaring. I'm going to go to Waterton, and then from there to Hobbleport, I think. Let's start driving. Come on. There we go. Oh, Jesus wept. Could I get like a message from my family or something? That would be nice, rather than work all the time. I have some intel that urgently needs to get to Saxchester within 11 hours. If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. Neat. Where the hell's Saxchester? Waterton is a foggy town. As such, everything in here is going to try and kill me to death. Noise. At first, I was ready to declare this town to be unblemished, but the facade fades quickly under scrutiny. Everywhere I investigate, I attract desperate looks from people, as if trying to urgently convey something to me without the people around them suspecting. A number of anonymous notes have been passed to me by various means, some demanding I leave, some revealing details that sicken my soul. There is an evil here, I know it, one so loathsome that it will freeze even the busiest tongues. Let's go shoot it in the face! With an, assurance, with an assurance of absolute secrecy, I was able to persuade a rather distraught woman to divulge that her child had gone missing. The other times folk insist she is mad, but their words are less important than the frequent worried glances they make to an ominous looking office building that looms above the houses, allegedly one of the town's major employers. My next avenue investigation seems obvious. Locate a missing person, or what remains of them. Now here's the thing about missing persons uh, missions. They can go one of three ways. Firstly, you can find them dead. Secondly, you can find them alive, but they attack you, so you've got to make them dead. Thirdly, they're still alive, and they're just fine. It's very rare that you find them, and they're just fine. Mostly, I find them dead. <laughs> Let's check this door. Well, no lockpicks left. Hey, a thing! Don't you- ha. Die, 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 die. There we go. I don't know how effective smacking something to death can be. Worshippers consider it a grave insult to draw Viala's symbol in red, as this is the colour associated with one of their oldest and bitterest rivals among the ancients. Right then, so we know one god's called Fiala, and we know they don't like red, because these two are, in, are enemies of each other, but we don't know which is the invader and which is the enemy of the invader. Now as far as I'm aware, and I'll stand corrected on this, but as far as I'm aware, the invader's enemy is not, is not the enemy of the invader's ally. The, uh, these. Nope, oh, I've got to check that. The, uh, relationships between these ancient and noble evils tend to be a bit more complicated than, you know, we humans tend to bother with. Hey, another thing. Worshippers consider it a grave in such draw a Nixa symbol in orange, as this is the colour associated with one of their oldest and bitterest rivals among the ancients. So, Gnix hate... Okay. So, everything I just said was clearly a lie. Because clearly two of them don't like... Orin. Oh, hang on. Unless... Oh, hang on, no. That would mean that... Fiala is orange, that would make Gnix... Red? I said, unless the, uh... The ally... Yeah, Viala hates red, Gnix hates orange, so by association one would assume that Viala is orange and Gnix is red. Okay. Either that or I've completely buggered everything up. Let's find out. 
Jeez, there are so many documents here. Hey, a key ring. Neat. You can't, the thing is with these rooms, you can't just walk in and not walk to the far end, even if you found the thing in there you want. Because there might be a monster that's just sitting there waiting to annoy you. In the language of the ancients, the syllable kz is usually given as a name, but also has variously been written to denote the concept of insanity, irrationality, and confusion. So, kz and madness are a thing, but that could reply to anybody in any... Oops. Uh, column. All we know is whenever we find out which one's the god of madness or which one is the god of... Oh, hang on. Is we... I think we know that Shum, because that was written in orange before. Then again, it could also be the allies jumps on us. But I think... No, never mind. I was going to make a uh, deduction, but I don't think it would necessarily hold up. Hey! That one. That do the thing. Naughty cultist. Spawning in behind me, trying to cause magical death at me. You know, it's looking like that room I went in, tried to go into the first time and broke my lockpick is actually where the uh, hostage is. Hey, what's this? To my horror, after the priests in the centre of the circle encounter the phrase, on you, every unfortunate prisoner he had gathered around him, Mysteriously died in violent, explosive manners that haunt my nightmares to this day. I learnt the spell of kill everything. I learnt a killy spell. And up here we have a dead man. Hooray! I found what remains of the person I was sent to find. There's nothing I can do to help them except get out of here and break the bad news. All right, let's leave. And it's not changed to run, so we don't have to. Uh, Run away, despite this being the only room I haven't been into. Ow. Go. Uh, way. Be. Dead. Neat. Thank you. Oh, damn it. I should have looked at that uh, symbol that's probably buggered off now. I've left the room. You know what? Sod the sanity here. I'm just leaving. Ow, bugger. Uh, it's that one. That one. Bugger off. Hey. I didn't realise he... Uh, I didn't realise cultists could become bees when you kill them. That is an annoying thing to discover. I took a sanity hit because I managed to leave a room without a... Uh, um, with a monster still alive in it somehow. The news of the death did not, it seemed, come entirely unexpectedly to the poor soul waiting for my return. But they seemed to appreciate my efforts. As I made my excuses... They pressed a wallet into my hands, explaining that it had been left behind by a previous visiting occult investigator. The god identified by the Shum Room doesn't appear to be able to physically survive in our universe. The threat it poses to us is very real, but thankfully indirect. Hello! That is useful information. So Shum is not the invading god. So... I think, because we had Shum written in orange before, and that was, oh yeah, the, these guys, that's a that's, uh, colour of thanks. But we also know that they're not the invader, which would make them the enemy, which would make you the invader. This is This could be all entirely wrong. Part of this game is you have to sort of make logical leaps. Because the chances of you finding enough clues to be able to conclusively say X, Y, and Z in the time span you're given is very unlikely. So it occurs madness, but we don't necessarily know that that has anything to do with red. Okay. Health's alright, sanity is acceptable. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, so I want to go to Hobbleport for no particular reason, and then I can get to Saxchester Chester in 11 hours. Let's do this. I'm not intending to play a full game of this, by the way. I should make that very clear. This is not going to be an hour-long episode where I try and do this. But let's run it. I'm flagged down by an unmissably fat woman besides an upturned wrecked SUV. She screams incoherently until I crouch down and notice that a small child is strapped into the back seat and, judging by the smell, fuel is leaking. The mother is clearly too large to crawl into the vehicle to her son. 
but I am not. However, the space I need to crawl through is absolutely strewn with broken glass and razor-sharp exposed components. Well, what's my choices here? Leave a child to die? Or hurt myself trying to save a child? Let's try and save a child. By some miracle, by looking where I'm placing my limbs, I'm able to get into the wrecked car and almost all the way out again without a scratch. But then it all goes wrong. Something large and heavy dramatically shifts and my leg is crushed under one of the seats. I pull myself free, almost blacking out from the pain. Between frantically kissing her son, the woman gibbers expressed thanks and apologies. She gives me £15 to pay my way to a hospital for my leg. So I have... Well, status effect of a broken leg now, or an injured leg of some description. Uh, but I got money. That's nice. A text from an unknown number. What does it say? I've wired you nine pounds. Don't ask who I am. Just keep doing what you're doing. Isn't that nice? Free money. Hoppleport's going to try and kill me. Can I look at... I want to know what the status effect is. I know I've got one, but I don't know how to look at it. And some of these are really annoying, like if you try and run on a broken leg, you'll take damage. So I'm going to assume it's that one. We make sense. You wouldn't want to run on a broken leg. That would be a silly thing to do. This town is in pandemonium, in the most literal sense of the word. Creatures of the shadow pour endlessly from above, attacking wantonly without reason or mercy. Half the injuries are being caused by fellow townspeople struggling to escape. The shadow is being uncharacteristically brazen. But it should make things all the easier to identify the source of its influence here. Let's find out what's going on. The source of the monsters is a cave in the base of a grassy hill, but I'm convinced that this is a subterfuge. True origin, I believe, is the mansion on top of the hill, whose cellars reportedly connect to old mining tunnels. The house hangs under a black cloud all of its own, and a strange silhouette appears at the windows. Something rotten dwells in that house. And I aim to exterminate it. Let's go kill its face off. Okie dokie. Somewhere in here is a big bad that wants to die. By my hand. Oh, I just tried to run by habit. And I suspect I took damage from that. That, what is what is commonly known, as a stupid thing to do. Okay, somewhere in here is monsters. Are you monsters? You are a lamp. That's a monster. Ow, 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 ow. 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 Okay. Monster is the deadness. Well, that was a waste of time. Let's go to the next room I can't go into. <laughs> Down we go. Hey, a thing. The patients have become terri irrationally terrified of the colour orange, to the point that absolutely no progress can be made if I'm wearing any garment of that colour. Change of medication may be in order. Okay, so orange is fear. Because it's madness. So I think... We said that. We are. That doesn't give us any further information about. Um, cause, okay. Moving on. Down we go. Go. Jesus, bet. What's this thing anyway? Skateboarder pads. Neat. I could have used these to uh, get out of that. Uh... Stop being a thing. Why are there so many monsters in this room? That was irritating. So those knee pads prevent broken limbs, but I already have a broken limb, so that's not very helpful. As with most things in this game, I find what I want after the point of needing it. Hooray, key rings. Up we go. I'm guessing the monster I need is in that locked door. Ow. Stop being alive! Thanks for dropping something though. Eight pounds worth of jewellery. That's not unreasonable, I suppose. Though it seems weird that your 
incredibly accurate at you know, figuring out how much jewellery is worth just by looking at it. A body lies at my feet. They appear to have died in absolute terror. The mouth is open so wide that the jaw appears to have dislocated. Yummy. Up we go. I still can't run because I got a da damaged leg. Which means this walking is tediously boring. Walking, walking, walking. Let's just keep on walking. Walking, walking, walking. Uh, hey, don't be invisible. That's cheating. Hey, more money. Double check. Nothing's over here going to eat my face. Nothing over there is going to eat my face. Always good to see. Here we go. Stop being thing. Is one of you guys the boss? Just the jewellery. Well, you must be, because I've been to every other sodding room. Just the jewellery. Oh, wait, no. I've missed one room. I have ten health, and I have no bullets. Hey! You know what? Sod it. And I just ran, get damaging myself some more. Excellent. I don't want to go into this one. I want to go up here. Interesting, the name Kthoth, as well as the associated symbol, is only ever described in orange. Well, buggery. It turns out I was wrong there before anyway. So, Kthoth is orange. That makes them shum and fear. Some of the others I just deleted. Fear. Orange is fear. And you're not the invader. Oh god, I've completely buggered this up. Oh well, I was never going to try and make this a... Uh, Get to the end of this game anyway. I'm gonna die, so let's let's just do it. Now, circle of death is on you. Do it! Hooray! Phoenix is not the god attempted to invade. I know you're reading the scholar, your actions will have far the reaching consequences than you possibly imagine. So Gnix is not invaded, we know that. Not the invader. And we know that. Uh, we know Gnix is not the invader, we know Shum is not the invader, we know Gnix hates Orange, and we know that Orange and Shum are connected by that other thing. So we've got Gnix, Biala, and Kthoth. We know Gnix is not the invader, we know that Orange is not the invader, which means that. Biala must be the invader. Okay. Biala's the invader. We got it. Though I don't know what the uh, rune or the any of this stuff is. Let's get rid of all this. So I still need to find out Biala's rune. Um. Yeah. Neat. Check nothing around here to find. I was fully expecting that to turn into a run, but... Ah, I'm dead. Excellent. Well, that I suppose is an appropriate point to end as any. We found out that Biala was going to invade, and then we died before we could do anything to prevent it. Hooray, Apocalypse! Happy Halloween! <laughs>